Geneviève Bergeron was in her second year, was at Polytechnique on a scholarship. A music lover, she played the clarinet. She sang with the Montreal Symphony Orchestra. Hélène Coguin was ambitious and poised for a huge future. About to graduate, she already had three job offers. She also had her eye on a master's degree. But first, a trip to Mexico with her classmate Nathalie Croteau. Nathalie Croteau was outgoing, a loyal friend, and close to graduation. She and Hélène Coguin were counting down the days until a well-earned trip to Mexico. Her home of Brossard named a community center in her honor. Marise Laganière was the only victim who wasn't a student that day. She was the school's budget clerk, the youngest of 14 siblings she'd only recently married. Confident, rebellious Marise Leclerc was one of the top students and a serious fan of British punk and new wave music. Her father, Lieutenant Pierre Leclerc of the Montreal Police, was on duty and on the scene that night. He identified Maurice. Anne-Marie LeMay, who happened to be a really talented singer, also had a really big goal, to improve prosthetic limbs. That's what drove her to engineering. Barbara Daignan was going to graduate at the end of the year. Mechanical engineering was a family tradition. She worked as her father's teaching assistant. They'd planned to meet two days after the shooting to work on her final project. Sonia Pelletier was the head of the class, and she already had a job offer lined up for the week after the attack. Her dream was to start her own engineering firm. Anne-Marie Edward loved the outdoors and adored extreme sports. She was on the École Polytechnique ski team. After her death, her teammates wore patches with her initials on their uniforms. She was buried in her ski jacket. Michel Richard, also known as Mimi, had been described as brilliant and gentle. She planned to marry her long-term boyfriend and dreamed of her once estranged father walking her down the aisle. They'd only recently reconciled. Maud Avernick was a woman of great drive. She already had a degree in environmental design and a diploma in science. In 1992, a scholarship was set up in her name at the University du Québec at Montréal. While in high school, Annie saint arnaud was the only girl in the science club. She was a lover of poetry and the arts, too. In 2015, the library in her home of La Touque was named after her. Originally from Poland, Barbara klutznik vidovich gave up a career in economics to study nursing. She spoke five languages. Her husband was with her that night in the cafeteria, but wasn't hurt. Annie Turcotte wanted to use her engineering skills to address environmental issues. She was also an avid swimmer and in the summers offered free classes to kids with disabilities. 